It would be no exaggeration to say that, Windows 10 is most controversial version of all Microsoft Windows operating system versions. Microsoft wants to make using many features compulsory for Windows 10 users, but majority of Windows 10 users is not in the mood to use them. Windows 10 users have many reasons not to use them. Cortana the personal assistant for Windows 10 is a living example. Microsoft wants Windows 10 users use Cortana and Windows 10 users don't want to use Cortana. Because of its unpopularity, Windows 10 users search for ways to disable Cortana. I'm quite sure today's video tutorial will end your search. If you are one of those who want to get rid of Cortana and looking for a tutorial to disable it in your copy of Windows 10 with ease. Before you watch rest part of tutorial, on the deactivation process of Cortana, I would like to let you know that, I've decided to split this tutorial into two parts. Actually, there are two reasons for splitting today's tutorial, into two parts. First, people get bored if the video is longer. The second reason is that disabling Cortana in Windows 10 Enterprise and Professional Editions is pretty easy to do via Group Policy Editor. But you will have to dig deep into the Registry Editor to do so in the Windows 10 Home Edition, as the Group Policy Editor is missing in Windows 10 Home. I do hope everything is now clear to you. Let's begin today's tutorial with Windows 10 Professional and Enterprise Editions. You may proceed toward the next part if you want to disable Cortana in Windows 10 Home. Before you use the Group Policy Editor, please keep in mind, creating a system restore point is highly recommended. Open Start Menu and type gpedit.msc into search box. Click gpedit.msc from search results. Here you need to navigate to Computer Configuration. Administrative Templates. Windows Components. Search. In the right pane, you need to locate the Allow Cortana settings. Click on Allow Cortana and then click Policy Setting. To disable Cortana, set Disabled option and click OK to save settings. Now you need to reboot your computer for this change to take effect. Alternatively you can sign out and sign back in if you don't want to reboot your PC. After restart, you should find that Cortana is disappeared and search box has changed from I'm Cortana ask me anything to search Windows. Hope Windows 10 professional and enterprise users have managed to disable Cortana by following today's tutorial. Although, I've tried my best to explain everything well. Please do let me know if I could not explain anything properly using the comment section. I will be trying to solve your problem. I encourage you to watch the next part of this video tutorial if you want to disable Cortana in Windows 10 Home Edition. Stay tuned, stay blessed, and don't forget to like subscribe, comment and share.